Or would you look at that? Courtesy Mr. Mick. Here guy's got himself a, a little harness. Well, no one, none of us fit into it, and um, Mick's kids aren't interested. And the guy it belonged to passed away, so it's got some significant um, value. So, yeah. Looks in good nick. You guys got a few years before you can fit in that though. I'll just about get get him in one of the leg holes. <laughs> and I went to drop some stuff off the other day. And the ute's actually cleaner than what it was. She uh, was pretty wet. And uh, I went out to Aerotech and thought I'd go and catch up with a few people. It weren't there. So I'll catch up with some other people I didn't know. And uh, in a nutshell, I looked at this road and thought, hmm, I used to get down there in my blue 620 some 18 years ago with car tyres on it. Oh, surely I've got mud tyres on this. Surely I'll get through. Would save me some time if I'd go that way. It was almost famous, a case of famous last words. You know, like, I was in third gear, full knacker, and barely getting through. <laughs> Mud flicking everywhere. And of course, I had no weight in the back. So, yeah. And since I've done up these, uh, probably it's not the eye bushes, I don't think they're the issue. I think the, the shackle spring ends, I reckon they're a bit tight. She doesn't want to, doesn't want to move. But it is a little bit better. So yeah, traction was minimal. That's <laughs> only two-wheel drive, so what do you do? You just go with it and hope for the best. So yeah.